Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to part 9 of that Football Manager 2019 save where we give Falkirk £1 billion but I'm not allowed to spend it. We give it to Dario Ferrari, the worst director of football in history and see how he spends it. And at the moment we've got a defensive crisis. We've got Paul Dixon out with a hernia, Jack Simpson, Kieran McKenna and the edge. So most of our central defenders are out. So today... We're playing Dundee in the Scottish Cup. They're not doing very well. They're bottom of the of the Premier League, so it'll be quite interesting to see how we how we get on. We're gonna go for O'Hara, Mercer, McGee and Keown. We've got no other choice really. Robson at left back, McKee, Osman and Halliday, Ainsworth and Cranchar, and then Casket up front and <laughs> Cas Casket, I don't want to be mean about him, but he looks absolutely fantastic. He's he's pretty good, right? He looks proper good, but he misses so many chances. It's unbelievable. I have never seen so many missed chances of football manager from like three inches out, and he somehow manages to scoop it over the bar. And he is the Harold Brat pack of this um, Falkirk side. Of the Peter Van Vossen. Depending on what your persuasion is. <laughs> so whatever you whatever you prefer. I once the worst one I ever saw was um Nick Dazovic for St Johnston live. It was um yeah, it was we were getting a do in anyway from Rangers and he missed from about two yards out. It was awful. Right. Oh, do you have a good one? Have faith. Here we go. Have faith. Have faith. This is winnable. Uh, I have no idea if Ryan McCown, uh, Jack Simpson. I will talk about eleven players. I'd rather talk about eleven players. Like these guys are unfit. Why would I play them? It's a bit, bit silly. So yeah. So this is this is interesting. This is going to see how we how we're getting on. We beat St Johnston in the League Cup it's at the beginning of the season. So these guys are technically worse than St Johnston. So. And he did get relegated in real life, so it is. Uh, yeah, Dar Darno D he uh, retired uh, during the summer, and then did a U-turn inside for East Kilbride. So that's uh, interesting. Retired from professional football, just went part time. So yeah, not much happening. I think these two teams are. Much of muchness. Let's demand more. Let's see if we can get in about them. Get in about them! Right. That is horrendous. It didn't look like a foul. And then it said it's two footed, right? Right, wait a minute. Right, Keon can play there. Get back, go. Cool. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll bring a wing back on for Cranchart. Patrick Brot. There we go. And back. And then Cascade can go in the middle. You can play target man. Confirm changes. And keep going. Just have to go defensive. Yeah, that is a horrendous away strip from Dundee. That is not a good effort at all. <laughs> it's um, quite an eyesore in real life as well. So. Robson. Oh! Unfortunately, that tackle was meant that we're going to... We're going to lose this game, I think. That's frustrating. I don't even have hard tackling on, to be honest. It's got to stay on your feet, I think. So that was a silly, silly move for the boy. And talk aggressive. I want to see a much better showing. Shouts, show some passion. There's McGee. He's been a a rock this season. 
OD, Kerr, I think this could be three or four now. Curran, there's Kenny Miller. Yeah, he scored, he scored nine goals this season. Not bad for a 39 year old. He was never prolific in his prime, was he? He was always missed more than he, he took. He could run about like a headless chicken, but cause defences problems and open up space for other people and stuff. But a good one up top man. Keown, Halliday. Oh, good save from O'Hara. Shouts, demand more. They're focused. <laughs> Not much. Just want this game over with now. Next up, Crash Kai's not playing very well. We'll get Jarvis on. And who else is playing badly? Everybody's playing badly. Halliday's playing badly, but we'll keep him on for his experience. Yeah, it's not not good. Show some passion. They're fired up by that. And Jarvis gets a yellow card. This is disappointing. I thought this was winnable today. But that red card just finished us. We've got Mercer's dead. So we'll get Elliot Christie on. Oh, that's Patrick Brock. Okay. Elliot Christie on. Everybody's dead, to be honest. <laughs> that is it. Disappointing. As I say, I thought that was winnable, but can't do anything about that. Is that it, full time? That is it. Oh, well. Aggressive, not happy with the result. I just don't understand the, the message. It told me that it didn't look like a foul when it said it was two footed, so it was two mixed messages. So if I go and appeal that, I'll get fined or something. So, right, fixtures we're going to be playing do, 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 do. Ross County next. I'll come back for that in a minute. Right, so we're back for a Ross County game. As you can see, we're now down to fifth, but we have a game on hand against Queen of the South, so we could catch up with them. I'd quite like to get in the playoffs this year just to prove that we can do it, but there's not much between sort of Ross County all the way up to sort of Queen of the South, so that fourth playoff place is well, the third playoff place is going to be really highly contested. We kind of go on a run and then we lose it, so we're going for O'Hara, and then Elliot, McGee, The Edge is back, and Mercer, McKee, Osman, Halliday. And then Ainsworth, Cranchar and Cascade up front. And we're just going to see how we get on. Yeah, I appealed that ban. And it, um, ooh, they're playing my defensive tactic. We're obviously worried about our, um, the way we play. Yeah, I appealed it, but the red card, but it didn't work. They never do. Very rarely. I had one with a Tasmania Berlin save ages ago where I... Yeah, it did work, but it's never worked since. I got a couple of match bans in Tasmania Berlin, so I've just stopped contesting them, really, or criticising them in the press conferences, because, as I say, it never works. I don't really know how you how you figure out if it works or not. It's, it's never worked. Even way back since the championship manager days, it's never, never quite worked. So... Yeah, it's maybe something they could improve. I think I'm going to do a wee video of the things I want in the Football Manager 20. Just these little changes, just um, not much. It's, I've really enjoyed 2019. It's uh, probably my favourite Football Manager for a long time. 
it's a few things that we, we need to improve, but you'll see that. I've got another video hopefully coming out today. I think this will be the first one that comes out today. And yeah, you'll see it's one of the things I want to want to improve will be in that video. There's Elliot. Ainsworth has not been a very exciting half. Osmond. Over the top to Mercer. Osman, Ainsworth, what a goal. That is a peach and a half from the former Wolverwell man. Yeah, and Dario Ferrari. I think he's first signing. Comes away with a, the goal. You know, it's, it's just funny how AI operates completely different to how I would operate, so. If I'd had a billion pound, we'd probably be top of the league. There we go, dressing room well done. And please, let's go for it. So yeah, as I say, if, if I'd had a billion pound, we'd probably be top of the league, but the, uh, the AI just doesn't quite see it. And I got the defence right before I got anything else. And I'm a really good striker. A couple of really good wingers and then built it from there. Don't want to say anything. Let's get creative. Go on. Treat yourself to some creativity. Ryan Graham. He's, he's off. So I'm in Kabul, he's really firing up this division. <laughs> There's another goal. <laughs> a couple. Is that his hat trick? Not much happening. We make a couple of subs. Sub. Cascoet's not doing much. We'll get Jarvis on. Get Keon on for. Mercer and Nicole Cranchard is not doing much to have a right Petrius on ok, there you go disinterested your managers aren't very good at doing team talks but in real life they are I wonder if it's still Stevie Ferguson, the other boy. Can't remember his name, sorry if you're watching. I doubt you are, so I can see what I want. <laughs> Can't remember who you are. <laughs> but yeah, co-managers, do they work? It's the only one I can remember. I think Owen Coyle and um, John Hughes were co-managers at Falkirk a few years ago as well. So yeah, that's a, an interesting question for you. Do co-managers work? And how? And why do they not? Oh, is that sending off? Not this late on, mate. No, it's not just a tailor off. Yeah, do co-managers work? And what's the difference between co-managers and a manager and an assistant manager? I, yeah, it's... Can you think of any other co-managers that have worked? Uh, that was a good win, well done. That is pretty good. That keeps us in with a shout for the playoff spot. And actually we are fourth, this on goal difference. So that is very good. Right, well, let's look at if I'm going to fire on because I don't want to be um, playing this forever. I want to get on to the next season because it's, it's a transfer window, it's the exciting bit. So I'll maybe come back, maybe about here, Al and Dunfermline, or Dunfermline and Morton, and I'll come back for the last couple of games, we've got a couple of hard games at the end, and we'll see how we how we get on, see if we can get a playoff place, if we get a playoff place, obviously I'll show them, if not, we'll just go straight on to the next season, alright, so I'd expect maybe another two episodes minimum, possibly three or four, depending on if we get into the, into the playoffs, 
All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.